I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to learn how to draw a cubic three dimensional structure from the given top, front and right view. So we are given top view, front view and right view of a cubic structure. We need to sketch the three dimensional figure here. So the top view is we have four different squares and there is a step there, correct? So you see that step, right? So, so from the top you see six squares, six cubes I should say. From the front also you see six cubes and there is a step, right? But from the right you do not see any step. So that is how it is being placed. So you can pause the video, try to sketch uh, the diagram, three dimensional figure of something whose top, front and right is given to you. Now the strategy here is whenever you're drawing a three dimensional figure always consider the plane as like corner of your wall right so that you should draw vertical lines horizontal lines and that gives you three dimensional effect right so this becomes your horizontal plane and that is your height. So anything which you want to show in the same plane, that should be kind of like this. Do you get the point, right? So that is how you should be drawing. And if you have to give the height, go upwards. Now, let's begin with, uh, well, you could start from the side or from top anyway. Now, in this particular case, what we observe here is that the right view is very specific and uh, we could right could be along this wall correct so let us sketch the right view first so we have two blocks so we can say well if it's, if this is our let us say top so we can say one and one two one and one two so this is two so these are our two blocks so uh, and then we can bring it down right so that gives us the top portion do you see that top portion so that is what it is and then we see there is a step that means a step like this whenever you're going down you have to go down in a vertical manner correct? so bring bring it down kind of like this right so so that is how so you get one two and this is your third square and that gives you the side view do you get the idea so does it so from the right side it exactly looks like what we have right so that is approximate idea of making this. Uh, now from the front and top what the top is right here so what we can do is we can extend two blocks so that is one and one two so we can extend each two blocks so we are making light diagrams we will make it darker later so so draw horizontal lines which are parallel to x-axis let us say right so those are your horizontal lines and these are my two blocks so what I'm doing is I'm drawing line parallel to this now so first block and then the second block so that is how I get this top surface do you see that now that means an edge right so there is a depth here and of course there should be a depth since we see a blank space here do you see the blank space so you can see through so that means that this is a solid block correct so so we could go two blocks like this right so it is slightly bigger than what I should have drawn anyway but you get the idea so now we have to draw a horizontal line like this here so that is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line so you can see that this part is is the top and now you can see the front that is the front and uh, if I draw the horizontal line here also so what we notice here is that becomes the the depth right so this is the depth given by these lines so at this stage we have a depth and then we can bring it down and complete our figure right so so I hope with this kind of a sketch which I took time to draw so that you understand how it is now look at it from the side view this is our side view see this is the side view given to us right and the top view for us is is this square block which you see this 
that is the edge correct and then then we have this part so that is the top view right so this is the edge or you can say the depth correct and from the front you can see that from the front we have here change in height change in height so you get this to the second level do you see that so that three dimensional figure represents what we have at times what you can do is you can also work with uh, your cubic blocks to see and visualize so in this particular case what we see here is that there are cubic blocks three and three each of two two types right so two rows three columns so we could have one like this let me just share with you like kind of like this right so so these are the two blocks okay and then one each on the on this side so we could place cubic block like this so so in a way you could say that the structure which is given to us could be represented by uh, this kind of a structure do you see that so that is your real model correct so that is the model which you could uh, use to sketch your diagram right so i hope that is visible to you so you could visualize from the given top front and right view and then sketch or you could make a model just as i've shown you here and and then draw what we drew correct so so what is key here is always to draw lines which are in one of these directions right vertical that is the horizontal and that gives you the depth right so so that is your surface so this is kind of one surface so whenever you draw a surface like this so these are your parallel surfaces do you get the point right so so these are parallel surfaces and this gives you height so you can go above and then create your structure of building one block over the other using that kind of an axis i hope that helps thank you and all the best